what up you guys it is sassy assassin here back with another video i hope you guys are all doing well and are having a wonderful week so far it is currently july 3rd 2024 and in today's video i'm going to be reacting to an amberlynn reed video titled what happened with my ex and semi-glutide isn't working anymore slash vlog so um i hope you guys are gonna have a wonderful fourth of july for those who are celebrating fourth of july this year um to be honest, I'm not, like, even looking forward to celebrating 4th of July. I, I'm not, like, really in the mood, given what's going on in my life right now. I just feel like I'm constantly having, like, this odd out-of-body experience. I don't feel present. And it is affecting me making content, and I apologize for that. But usually when I'm in a situation like this, I tend to stop doing things that I enjoy and close myself off from people, which I know are unhealthy habits, but I can't help it in a way. Like I really, it's really hard to break this kind of habit when I've been like this for years, but I really am trying to be more present. And I'm sorry if I sound like I'm trauma dumping, but I just want to let you guys know like where I'm at because I know my content hasn't been consistent. And um, for those who like don't know what's going on, I'm just going to give a a brief recap. Um, but you can you guys if you can watch one of my most recent like foodie beauty videos where I talk about it in the beginning um, of the video. But basically it's what's going on right now is like we're in the process of just trying to find a new place to live because we're losing this house due to financial reasons and it's just really stressful and I just feel like things are just out of control right now and I don't like that like I don't like feeling like out of control um but that being said um when it comes to the girls um booty booty has gone MIA once again and I have a sneaking suspicion it's because she's doing her visa run so there isn't much to, to react to in the Chantopolis and as for Amber she's not uploading as much so you know it's, it's really quiet and girl world right now and, and honestly I'm just relieved because sometimes it can just get a little bit too much and given what I'm dealing with it's just like I I really don't need the extra, like the added stress. But anyways, um, I have this video on 1.25 speed. So here we go, folks. So before I get into today's video, I just want to say this. I find it funny that Amber Lynn tells us in the last video that she was going to be sponsored by this semi-glutide company. And then she reneges on the deal because she finds out that YouTube doesn't allow f for her to promote pharmaceuticals on her platform. Like, shouldn't you have checked that before, you know, even trying to set up a deal with this company? And now in this video, you're going to tell us that the semi-glutide isn't working all of a sudden? Did it ever work, Amberlynn? Or has this whole entire journey just been a pack of lies? I honestly feel like I've been duped. I feel, you know, I actually started to feel a little bit optimistic about uh, about Amber's journey. And was starting to see things in a more positive light. But what do you know? She pulls the rug out from under me once again. She has a way of doing that. She lulls you into this false sense of security. And then right at like the proper moment, she just like pulls the rug out from underneath you. And you just experience a really bad case of whiplash. And that's what I'm experiencing right now. And all I have to say, Amber, is that how many times can you play this game? Like, how much time do you think you really have until you croak? Like, seriously. Just saying. But anyways, 
let's get into this hello you guys so welcome to a new vlog it is currently june 28th so i just got back from the package room i have this massive package in there because i got a new cat scratcher i also got new shampoo and conditioner a lot of people have been recommending this brand right here redkin so i'm excited to try it it is kind of pricey so i got obviously i got the shampoo and conditioner but i also got the all soft moisture restore so it's the leave-in treatment this is good for like dry and brittle hair and hair that has been fried way too much and then this is the cat tree i got i like to get them new ones so i'll put this together probably in a different vlog because i am a little busy today so i'm excited to show you guys what that looks like once it's all put together and then last but not least i did keep this cute little purse okay i've just really been enjoying the, the shampoo and conditioner and the leave-in conditioner. She needs something better. And Redken is a good brand. I mean, luckily for me, though, because my sisters are cosmetologists, they're able to go to the supply place and get, you know, big bottles of name brand, like, hair care products for a reasonably good price. So, you know, usually when it's, like, christmas and birthdays and stuff like that they usually get me like some you know a really good name brand like leave and conditioner or shampoo and condition you know conditioner and stuff like that um but it's been a couple years since I've, I've used redkin but it is a good brand um the cat tree like you know you know i'm glad that she's getting her cat a new cat tree um but the purse like girl do you really need another purse Seriously, especially a cheap purse that could break at any given moment. Like you're going to spend money on that. You've been complaining already about the price of semi-glutide and yet you're buying this, all this junk that you really don't need. It just, it'll never make sense to me. In like small cute purses and... These are like pink lips. It's just adorable. So thankfully it does come with a strap on the inside. On that piece of crap. That looks like something that you get at the dollar store. And she probably paid way too much money for that. It is in a knot. So I'm going to try getting that out. All right. That wasn't too bad. So I'm going to unhook them and then hook it onto here. Hook number one and hook number two. This was honestly so cheap. They also had a red one and a light pink one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, go back to where I said, uh, this is so cheap. This was honestly so cheap. She already broke. She already broke. What did you spend on that? Only for it to break when you literally put it on. You know what? That's just like a little bit of karma there. I wonder, I mean, I wonder if some of that money could have gone towards something that you actually need instead of buying that purse. You know what I mean? Girl. This was honestly so cheap. Ugh, that is so frustrating because it's so cute. I mean, I get it because this, this uh, chain here does not feel, does not feel the greatest. This was honestly so cheap. I'm going to go see if I have like another chain from a different purse. I'll be right back. Okay, I wanna make it very obvious that this purse was $7.99, so it was like $8. This was honestly so cheap, but I did have this little Not that bad. Okay, at least it's not like $15 to $20. But still, do you really need another purse? Ask yourself that, Amber. Do you, you know, when you sh are online shopping, and before putting it in the basket, ask yourself, do I need this? Is this essential? Could this money go towards something else that I actually need? The answer is yes all the time. I'm not saying that Amber shouldn't treat herself, okay? And do something frivolous for herself every once in a while. But that's like all she ever does. And then when it comes to the things that she actually needs, like the semi-glutide, you know, like other things, like, you know, going to the gym or getting herself a trainer. You know, things that she actually needs you know to invest in basically herself 
there's always like, I don't have enough money. Well, gee, Amber, I wonder why you don't have enough money. Because you're so busy buying earrings and wax melts and journals and crappy purses. I mean, girl. Priorities. Little, uh, shrap here, just an extra one that I had. So the purse is cute, like it is. But I'm not too mad about it. Like it's worth the $8 for sure, even though it broke. This was honestly so cheap, but honestly, I'm not hard to please. I'm very much one of them girly pops that tries to find the positive and everything. And the positive is I have a cute pink lip purse and that's that. So a little bit of a semaglutide update. I don't know what's going on, but it literally hasn't been working. Um, I actually contacted the med spa because like that was massively worrying me. And I was like, what should I do? And they told me to take another beginning dose and then to take another beginning dose in a few days. And something about that, like I have anxiety when it comes to like medicines and stuff. Like I'm sure a lot of you know that, like I just get really anxious with stuff like that. And it's like when I increased my dose this last Saturday, like I felt so sick, like the whole Sunday, like it was really bad. Um, we're not going to go into detail. I have anxiety when it comes to medicines and stuff like that. You know, you guys know how I feel. Yeah, okay, but you're okay with doing marijuana, which is arguably worse for, like, been worse for you than semi-glutide. I mean, I get it, you know, when it comes to this stuff, you got to be careful, right? You're doing this under the instruction of a med spa and not a medical professional. I'm sure they have medical professionals on, on staff, but still, like how, like how legit is this place? You know what I mean? Um, the fact that you're relying on the semi-glutide to take away the hunger feel, hunger, so you don't have to deal with it. Red flag right there. The biggest red flag. And, you know, I try to put that aside a bit and focus on the positive with her. Like, at least she's doing something proactive to help herself lose, lose weight. But it's like, it's time to talk about the big elephant in the room. Amber Lynn, there is going to be a time when you're not going to be on semi-glutide. And all that, those hung, the, those hunger cues are going to come back full force like they're like it is right now and you're going to go right back to eating in large quantities if you haven't already so you need to you need to tackle the problem that's causing you to feel that hunger it could be some sort of like imbalance like me, imbalance in, in the brain or something like that you know what i mean there are like these conditions that make people feel hungry all the time and it's like not because they have an ed or anything like that it's because there's something in their brain or something like that like in their body that literally makes them feel this way i mean i've seen like documentaries about this okay like of people of people that can't stop eating and then they always feel hungry and they're never satiated so amber could have something like that going on and she doesn't even know it or this could just simply be her ed that's being like mentally not being treated you're literally relying on this semi-glutide to be your magic potion and it's not a magic potion girl you may say well yes i know it's a tool but amber you're sitting here freaking out because it's not taking away your hunger cues, like you know, your hunger, your constant hunger. Like this, this should worry you the, more than just you know get, getting rid of it. This should worry you because you know you're not taking care of the actual problem. You're just using this as a band aid. tail but there's a lot of tmi so just imagine um so i was like expecting the rest of the week like for me to feel a little bit better but like to ha not have my appetite and stuff but i've just been so hungry and i'm just like what so by taking even more i was afraid that like i was gonna have those tmi symptoms again and that i was gonna feel super sick and like i don't know like i was like i'm really getting into my head right now and it's like i told myself i was gonna be super transparent on this journey but 
currently semaglutide is not working for me and i don't know what's going on um i have had the syringes for weeks now so i don't know if like pre-filled syringes like they lose like potency as time goes on but either way i do need to buy a new vial soon so maybe when i buy a new vial like it'll start working again but i am just like so hungry all the time and i'm just like damn so i don't really know There are so many, re Amber, th I mean, I, I don't even know what to say. She literally, I mean, she's literally using this as a Band-Aid. You're not getting, you're not tackling the actual issue. And see, you know, we're in the middle of this, like, Ozempic craze across the globe, right? Everybody wants to be on Ozempic because they see it's a fast track to, lo to weight loss. Okay. And it's like, this is not a magic potion. This is not a way to, to uh, lose weight. Because what happens when you get off the Ozempic? You're going to be, still be faced with the same issues, you know, that you had, you know, th that is leading you to overeat. If it e is indeed just a matter of like, you know, uh, uh, an ED or, you know, just overeating. You need to tackle the mentals. What, what, like, what is triggering, triggering you mentally, if that indeed is the case, to overeat and to, you know, to, that what has just led to the ED. See, she doesn't want to do that because it requires work. It requires introspection. She tried it for a while, and then she got fed up, and then she quit. And now... She's back on Ozempic. She's doing or oh, the semi-glutide or whatever. And it's like, yeah, I'm so, oh my God, it's not working, you guys. And I'm, I'm starting to feel, you know, the, it's not, you know, the hunger. It's not suppressing my appetite. It's not just basically doing the work for me. Like, oh my God, you guys. Red flag, Amber. But see, if you were to tell her that, she'd just ignore this com those comments. She'd just say, oh, you're just a hater. No, this is called being realistic. No, I don't really know the next steps, what to do. And it is a little frustrating um, because I was just feeling so good. But week five and six has just been. That deals with, with EDs. There, I just solved your problem. Horrendous. And that's just me being honest. Y'all, my apartment complex is literally the cutest. So I just came back in from walking Twinkie and depending on which way I decide to walk her, sometimes I'll go in through the lobby and sometimes I won't, but I came back in through the lobby and they have these like pride gift bags. So let's do like a haul, an unboxing. So we got some flags, obviously, cause <laughs> pride month. I'm actually thinking about going to pride again this month, which would literally be in like two days. I'm still thinking about it. They do pride every single weekend here in Oklahoma city. When I told you guys that it's like the gay scene is literally popping here. I wasn't joking. Like I literally wasn't. So we have some cute purple beads. I'm just obsessed with this concept. I just think it's so sweet, truly. Oh my God, and then a little bracelet thing that says love is love. <laughs> you know what, I'm wearing it. I don't really wear bracelets, but I'm gonna wear this today. And then, wait, is this also a bracelet? With like the rainbow? This is so adorable, I can't. And then last but not least, we have a pin. Look, and it's a rainbow. I, I just think this is so sweet. Like. I honestly like love this apartment complex so much. It's very like community-based living and every single neighbor that I've made friends with or I've like talked to or that we're acquaintance, acquaintances with, that word's so weird. Like just literally the nicest people. Like I'm just obsessed and I'm- It's on the condition that she's telling the truth about, you know, actually talking to neighbors and stuff like that and being friends with neighbors and stuff. I don't believe it. You're, you're, you're pretty much a shut in unless your mom is there to, to come go take you places. Come on now. I mean, you've lied about this Valentine. I think she has. I don't, I don't think there's ever been a Valentine. I don't care what she says. And now you're lying about, you know, talking to neighbors and being friends with neighbors. Like, come on now. Come on. Like, this is supposed to be a community-based, you know, apartment complex. So why don't you do, you know... A, you know, go to community-based events. There's got to be community-based events in this complex, right? If it's so community-based. Why don't we see you ever doing that? 
totally gonna wear this today. Yes, I am. All right, you guys. So I finally think it's time that I clean this mess up because it's looking crazy. So I have had some questions about these. Um, this pack actually only comes with four bags. It is a little pricey and the calories is 210, but I literally don't even finish a bag at once. Like I don't even eat the whole bag. I probably eat half at a time, but anyways. All right. So I just wanted to show you guys the before. All right. Here is after. Looks so much better and more organized, obviously. So up here I have dog treats, some oatmeal. This is just like a ramen type thing that I got from Target. Mashed potatoes, pasta rice down here, protein cereal, just some like canned stuff, protein bars, Luna bars. Uh, when I'm craving something chocolate, I like to have these keto thingies. Then over here, the chicken chips and then um, some white cheddar rice cakes, which are delish. G52. Fred came, you know, made a point in one of his recent videos, uh, well, his most recent Amber video covering, covering this actual video, like how our mom's, you know, pushing her to do sedentary activities it's like girl you need to be doing activities that get you up and moving instead of just going out and doing bingo and stuff like that i mean i like that she's get, getting out and doing stuff i mean it's better than her like being a shut-in in her apartment like she has been for years but like really it's like you're just sitting going to, to going to sit from one place and sit to, in another place it's like get up and, and find an activity that has you moving bingo yeah, pretty soon. Oh, 63. This is a, a, a way to bond with her mother, but still. Oh my god. B10. 62. 16. And 43. B7. G57. And 32. G50. Big And check two. Nice. Coming up. First one's good. <laughs> hello hello so it is actually the next day june 29th i'm not vlogging today but i do want to like talk to y'all so i'm just gonna like set you guys down like so so i want you guys to know that i am okay the video about my breakup did go up yesterday and i'm getting a lot of dms and i'm good i've had a lot of people say just spill the tea because we don't know valentine's real name we know nothing about valentine and that is very true in my last serious relationship it was with feline and you guys know a little bit more of her because she would talk in my videos you'd see her hands her legs body parts so there was a little bit more like personal to personal with you guys in that regard so that's why i didn't really share much like the real true deep stuff like after the breakup so people are like just go for it just talk about it you don't know valentine we never will know valentine so i think i'm just gonna answer some like really uh hot questions ones that people have been asking or are asking and ones that i just see a lot of so a real big one is how did you guys meet did you guys meet in person so she actually messaged me on instagram back in september and we always had like a flirty thing uh, we always had crushes on each other and then it wasn't until I would say December, January where my feelings started to get super deep while hers was already there. It took me a hot minute to get to that point and then it was February, February 14th to be exact. This, she's gonna say she was the one that fell, fell first and I, Amberlynn had to catch up. Bullshit. I call bullshit on that. I really do because you know what? You're usually the one that falls first. Always. I think that this is something that has just been blown way out of proportion. I think Amber may have talked to somebody at some point and may, may be talking to somebody and she's just taking it as like, well, this person's my Valentine and girl, you've never met this person. Like this person could be married with kids and you wouldn't know. She asked to be my girlfriend and no, we never met in person, but we would video call every single day. So I knew like she wasn't a catfish and I believed everything she told me. I knew that she loved me a lot, but there was a lot of things that she did lie to me about. This is where it's like, I mainly don't want to share these things because I am embarrassed that I 
had someone who loved me that hard but would lie to me and betray me and do the things they did to me like I just feel embarrassed to even admit it so it's like I don't even want to go there but let's just say like she hurt me pretty bad I'm not gonna lie and the crazy part about this whole thing okay if that's the case she was a troll this person is a troll she decided to I'm gonna uh, pretend to, I'm gonna you know pretend to be into Amberlynn make Amberlynn fall in love with me and then at the, at the give, any given moment like you know just kind of wreak havoc, havoc in Amberlynn's life. That could be a, that could be very well. I mean, you'd never met this person, Amber. How would you know? As I'm saying, you 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 are so gullible when it comes to relationships, Amber. You need to, to be you know you need to guard yourself a little bit more. My God, and not be so stupid. Thing is that she was actually moving in with me August first. I know that's crazy and I know there's still like a chunk of you who was like Valentine wasn't even real Valentine was very real all of my closest mm -hmm. friends believe it I don't believe it friends knew about her my mom had spoken to her like Valentine was very very real and we were going then to be Ma, I want you and mom to have a conversation on camera about this Valentine and I want her to recount the times when she she talked to Valentine because I, I'm not going to believe it unless somebody else publicly backs you up. Together, a lot of betrayal happened. She got super distant and I knew what I deserved in my life and what I wanted in a partner. And I knew that like that was not it. So I broke up with her. It wasn't a situation where she like begged me not to do it or whatever, because I think at that point, like she knew I deserved better and knew I deserved more. Knew I deserved someone who like didn't lie, cheat, betray, et cetera, et cetera. Like it was really hard, but like looking back now. Oh, come on. That's what I think. So I think somebody was just trolling her. If, if this is, if there was somebody, I think they were just trolling her. I don't think they ever had any intention of like, you know if it being serious i don't regret being with her i don't regret the time we shared together but i do you are not amber if this person does indeed exist you were never with her you never even met this person face to face but you were gonna have this person move in literally the first of august that is insane to me. You've never met this person, but then the first time you're going to meet them face to face and spend any actual time with them, they're going to be living with you. Amber, do you know how crazy that sounds? Are you that fucking desperate that you'd be willing to let a complete stranger move into your home? This person could be a, a fucking axe murderer or a serial killer. Like, my God, you don't know this person. This is, the, the, her and Chantel, both fucking desperados. Be willing to let, you know, to, to fly across the, the, the world and, and, sit and, and get with a guy that you don't even know. that you Or Chantel's case, only knew for two weeks. And then now Amber has only known this person allegedly since, what, like last September? And, oh, they're going to move in with me in August, but I've never met them face-to-face. -face. It, it, it's crazy. Huh? That is just insane to me. I do regret giving my all to someone who only gave me, like, half of themselves. And I don't ever want to put myself... ...themselves, Amber, because you don't know them. They probably were with somebody else. You were probably just somebody that they were talking to. My God, like, why didn't you have this person visit a couple times before even deciding to move in? You know, give it a test run. You know what I mean? Get to know this person. Y you were literally going to let this person that you've never even been in the same room with move in with you. I literally can't. That is insane to me in a situation like that again and I'm not going to like she was very very special to me and someone that I really did love and it just sucks that sometimes like loving someone is just not enough and I was no longer going to make myself for for 
every relationship you've been in. And you know what? It is a you problem. I'm sorry. Because the thing is, Amber, that's been the same reasons why you've broke up with Feline, why you broke up with, with, with why, why Feline broke up with you, why Becky broke up with you. Because love was never enough. That, that I deserve better, this and that. You know, like, girl, it is a you problem. It is definitely a you problem. Small. I, you know what? The, the pattern is emerging here. You and Valentine allegedly break up. I say allegedly because I don't, I don't believe this person exists. And then now all of a sudden, the sponsor that you were going to work with for semi-glutide, you can't do because of the, the, the YouTube guidelines. And now semi-glutide is so, all of a sudden not working for you anymore. The same thing happened with weight loss surgery. You, you, you did that, but then you got to a point where you didn't want to put in the hard work and you, you quit the program, allegedly conspiracy, whatever. And, you know, then not long, well, not, I'm going to say not long after. I mean, it took a while for Feline to break up with you, but still, she eventually broke up with you because you weren't willing to work on yourself. And now it's the same thing. It's the same thing. And it's a you problem, Amber. It's because they, if this person was real, they see you as a person that's not willing to change. They see the same old bullshit, different day, and they're just like, you know what? I'm not going to be in a person, in a relationship with a person that is literally dead weight. I'm not going to have this person rely on me for everything. Because who wants that? Who literally wants that, Amber? No one. No one wants that, that kind of relationship. Only you. By begging to be treated correctly. I wasn't going to do that. And I know that she has her issues and problems and a whole other life. Um, she was literally living two separate lives. Like, I don't want to go into detail because it really is just a lot. And it's like heavy. I don't want to spill all the tea, but I am giving you guys some drips. And I'm only doing it because it's almost like it feels like a weight is just like lifted off of my shoulders and my chest. Plus, you guys don't know Valentine. And you never will. I... I it Living in another life because... Obviously, there. You know, if this per I'm gonna say, based on the, you know, whether whether real, if this person is real, I think this person is a complete and utter troll. I don't think they ever had any intentions of being in a real, actual relationship with you. I think they were just trolling you. And you know what, Amber? It, you kind of fucking deserve it. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, given how she's treated past partners, this is karma. This is your karma, girl. You have been a terrible partner in the past. Treated people, your partners badly. Accused one of them of grape. For fuck's sake. Like. Th this is your comeuppance. Maybe a, 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 a troll was, a, a troll was what needed to, ha you know, to happen. But as I was saying, I, I don't. I, I don't believe her when it comes to the Valentine. I don't think this Valentine was ever real. But, I mean, if it was, if this Valentine was real, I think it would, I think it's a troll. Um, and given the fact that you were doing, consistently doing thirst traps on TikTok, yeah, I wouldn't feel too confident about being in a relationship with you either if you were doing thirst traps on TikTok. But see, you, you don't care, do you? Because you, you, you need that kind of attention. The, the thirst, the TikTok thirst traps are very inappropriate, Ember. And it would make anyone feel insecure about being in a relationship with you. It didn't work out. Like, it just didn't. This isn't heartbreak era. This is like, universe wants Amberlyn happy and it's gonna happen era. Anyways, I'm gonna end this vlog. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! You know, you are the architect of your own of your of your own demise of your own life you choose i can't i literally can't it's just it's just uh, this is uh, all falling into place in a way where it's like it's the same shit again you did the semi-glutide because you thought well if i actively try to think look like i'm losing weight then um you know then valentine will love me more I don't know. I don't know, you guys. 
only time will tell and give us the actual truth because we sure as hell, we sure, sure as hell know that Amberlynn nor Chantel will never tell us the actual truth. But anyways, that is it for today's video and I will see you guys in the next one. Toodaloo, my lovelies.